Thank you, Bill. And you just mentioned the Durham School of the Arts. We are told we spoke with them just a bit ago. No one was injured. But as for picking up your children, the bus riders, if your child rides the bus, the bus will take them home. If you drive your kid to school, if they're in a car, you can pick up those kids at Trinity United Methodist Church. Again, the school is closed. Grades 6 through 12 bus riders, the bus will take them home. Car riders, you can get your students at Trinity United Methodist Church. And that's viewer video coming in right now, as you can see. I'm sorry, could you repeat that again? producer what were you just telling me okay this is from Susanna Black who is uh, downtown live for us right now so that's a live picture uh, looking uh at what looks like where you can see one of the streets. There are several streets around that area that are blocked, including uh, Morgan and Gregson. Uh, you're not going to be able to go down that ro those roads, and I would say you'd probably want to avoid it anyway if you had any plans to be downtown at this point. It was it was a big enough explosion, shook the ground enough. We saw a picture earlier of the federal building, which is a couple of blocks away where it blew a window out. Um, there we see some kiddos there. It looks like they are waiting for their parents probably to pick them up um, and get that them out of that area. Um, it looks like too there I can see yellow tape in the background I don't recall seeing that earlier as well not sure if that's directly related to this explosion to keep people away or if that's just um, up there from prior I know and our Susanna Black who this video is coming from just spoke with a woman who says she works in a building right near the building that exploded and she says she was inside of her office and it felt like a bomb went off it was so powerful her entire building shook and it blew out lots of windows she says that uh, right now she when she evacuated the crews on the scene were trying to contain a live gas leak again a woman that Susanna Black spoke with said it was I mean, she was very emotional hearing from her just going through that kind of experience. Yeah, and I can see there, they're bringing up a live picture here of uh, 147 and one of those ramps. Bill Ray, can you look at that video and tell us where that is? Yeah, that well, that's, saying? That, that looks like 147. Um, oh, what ramp is that? Yeah, can you see that sign? I can't see it from Well, it says way. Durham Freeway 147, and I can't read Carp. What is that? Man. That does not look familiar. Maybe to me. Chapel Maybe Hill. Maybe Chapel Hill. Oh, Chapel Hill Street. That is it. Chapel okay. Hill Street. Now Chapel we pull Hill out. Street. Okay. Yeah. There we go. And that's the Durham Bulls Athletic Park you're looking at right there. Okay. All right. Thank yeah, you, yeah. Bill. Distance. Thank you, Bill. We're going to go now back live.